Hello everyone, Keith Gordon Tech Guy here with another video. And today I'm gonna have a 6 inch budget phone to talk about. Yep. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about the Blue Studio XL2. Now, most of us can remember the, f the Studio. The Blue Studio X that came out approximately like a year and a half ago. Well, Blue had revealed the Studio XL2 on their website, but they have not revealed its price or availability as yet. But I'm gonna give you the specs so you can decide whether you want to buy this phone or not. Rocking memory. Now, like the Blue RNHD, this has 16 gigs. Of internal storage and 2 gigs of RAM. But unlike the Blue R1 Edge, the Blue R1 Edge, you could have chosen between 8 or 16 gigs, but this one is comes with 16 gigs only. Well, 16 gigs is acceptable for 2016, I would say. For a budget phone in 2016, 16 gigs is acceptable. And also, it runs on a quad core processor. But 1.3 gigahertz and a based on a new 6737 platform by MediaTek and with the Mali 720 GPU. Now we all know any phone with Excel is supposed to at least be 5.9 inches. Well, this phone rocks a 6 inch HD display with that has IPS with Blue Infinite View technology and also most of you be like I want most budget smartphones come with low battery life that's true your standard budget phone in 2016 comes with at least 2900 milliamps or 300 milliamps but this phone comes with 5 sorry 4900 milliamps but i mean it would have been nice if it had 5000 milliamps straight up like the Acatel pop 4 plus or no pop 4 power but 4900 milliamps of ba battery is good and you have claimed to have 72 hours of standard usage 72 hours like three days and you have 30 days uh, at least of standby now let's talk about the camera now it runs it utilizing a 30 megapixel main camera along with a 5 megapixel front selfie camera with LED flash with built in f2.2 aperture not a lot of phones come with not a lot of budget phones come with f2.2 aperture if they come with aperture they normally come with a f1.9 aperture most of them for budget phones but I like the fact that it has f2.2 aperture and a 5 megapixel selfie camera with flash so that will at least brighten up your photos if you want to take a selfie in, in the night time now this is what it looks like the camera there now let's look at the camera design the camera has a little bump there but it's kind of molded in and you have a little edge in at the back there but we can't really see any antenna bands but it has a diamond cut edge also so the design is nice but it runs on android marshmallow sadly but we have no idea when this one will receive an android nugget this might receive android nugget till probably for say next year January or February 10th. So let's go into the full specs. Uh, let's start off with the technology and software. It runs on Android 6 at the Marshmallow. Uh, it has HSPA plus 42 megabits per second. It supports 2G bands and 3G bands. I suppose LTE, LTE bands 2, 4, 7, 12, and 17. And the processor 
is a MediaTek 6737 chipset with a quad core, 1.3 GHz, and a GPU with the Mali 720 chip build. Now the memory is 16 gigs of internal memory and it has 2 gigs of RAM. The display is 6 inch HD display with blue infinite view with IPS. And the camera, well the camera is not a lot, well the camera, well I would say is a boast about this one along with the display. 30 megapixel out focus camera and a 5 megapixel front camera with LED flash and supports the HD recording at 1080p with it at 30 fps the battery 4900 amps and also the connectivity it runs comes with bluetooth 4.0 comes with wi-fi and hotspot and it has a micro usb 2. Points. micro usb aka usb 2.0 in it and uh, you have not a clue when this one would be purchased um, be available for purchase but you can find me on social media below twitter google plus facebook that good stuff for when the form will be available and so that is it i'm about to sign out like share this video and comment tell me what you think